now we're going to uh, begin a little demonstration of uh, some of the forms of unarmed combat. And I always like to begin uh, with a basic fall. Uh, there are three types of falls, a faint, uh, a front or side fall, and a back fall. Let's start with a faint. Stage combat always follows logic. Now, it, it is an illusion. We're, we're, we're making the audience think we're doing something that we're not. So in many ways, it, it's like a magician. It's an, it's an illusion. But at the same time, we want it to be logical. So if somebody faints, uh, I've seen people faint a couple different ways. One is they just flop over. We don't want to do that faint on stage. The chance of getting hurt is too great. What I want to do on stage is get as low to the floor as possible before we lose control. And that way the fight, the faint uh, is safe. Um, I'm 5'8", I want to get a lot closer to the floor. I don't want to fall five foot eight inches. All right, so in the faint, and I've actually seen this happen. I was at a, at a doctor's office once and I saw a young man who was there getting his physical to play uh, midget league football. And he was probably about 13, 12 or 13 years old and he was really trying to act tough. Uh, and it, he got called to go back for, uh, they were going to uh, take a blood sample. And his dad said, you know, should, should I come back there with you, son? Oh, no, 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 don't, no, don't want you to do that. No, I, I got this. You know, he, he headed on back to the doctor's office and he was walking real tough and looking tough. And a few minutes later, the door opens and he comes back with a piece of paper in his hand and he, he was very pale and he walked out and he went to the window and he went to hand the, the lady at the window the form and I saw it. All of a sudden his eyes just went away and he fainted. And he did the kind of faint that I'm going to show you. He just, he just melted down into the floor. Um, probably it, for his case, they should have just let him faint. What happened was the lady caught his arm and he was, <laughs> he was hanging. And then he's banging against the, the wall until they finally come and got him. But anyway, here's the thing. You, you start to lose conscious. And what I'm gonna do is I always look up when I'm gonna faint. And the reason is it's, it's, it's eye focus. If I look up, where are you going to look? Where's the audience going to look? They're going to follow my eyes. And if I point, it's even worse. They're all going to look up there. So just for that second, I'm going to look up. Here we go. I look up, and as I do, I'm fainting. I'm going down. Now, what I do in a faint is I'm going to place my knee. I'm not going to drop on my knee. I'm going to place my knee. And that is very safe and it sets me up for the next part of the thing. I place my knee, I don't put my arms down. You do not want to reach out and stop your fall. This is what a lot of old people do when they fall on the ice or something. They throw their arms out. The arm hits the floor, in this case, drives my shoulder through my ear and out the other side of my head. Not pretty, don't want to do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place, not place my hand, but I'm going to sit. Hello. Nice to see you. Is that good? I'm ready, Mr. Duvida. Okay. I'm, I sit, tuck my head. Always look before you faint, make sure there's nothing behind you. I, you check that out before you start the whole process. Tuck my head, round the back, roll down, and now I'm gonna I'm gonna make I'm gonna make um, the nap. 
No, I've talked about the nap already. The nap, K-N-A-P, is the sound we make when we hit someone or when we fall. And I'm gonna make that nap, and it doesn't have to be really loud because it's a faint. There it is, flat of hand on floor. Don't use your knuckles, they, they, that, that, that will hurt. I've, I've actually seen somebody fall and hit their knuckle, actually it was over their head, and then you let, see them lay on the floor going, trying to be dead, it, it doesn't work. So anyway, I'm gonna make my nap, and now I have a comfortable place to put my head. And there's the end of my thing. Always die comfortable. Do not die in a hard position because then you have to hold it. Be comfortable. Okay, here we go. So here's the thing. Do you get that? Okay, let's get somebody to do that with me. Come on. Your name? Laurel. <laughs> Laurel's going to help me out here. Laurel, you are a roller derby woman, right? Yeah. So you fall down a lot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah? Okay. Um, did you see what I, you saw what I just did, right? Yeah. Let's see, let me see you do this. We're going to start at the beginning. Come over here next to me. Okay. And we're going to look up. And when we look up, we're going to squat down to one knee. Oh, that was, that was good. That was good. Okay. Now, you're going to slide off your foot. Oh, get that down. You're going to slide off your foot and sit down. Pose. That's <laughs> it. Now, duck your head. Roll down. Make your nap. Oh, die comfortable. Beautiful, as my aunt would say. All right, let's, that was great. Let's do that again. We'll do it together, though. Nur, 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 doing, doing things. Okay, ready? Oh, there's, there's gas. Oh, my God. Here we go. Oh. You're great. Thank you. I'll get back to you in just a moment. Oh, now, the front fall and the side fall is that same movement, except now we are moving and we're gonna make a bigger nap. So it looks something like this. Um, I'm gonna walk across this way. Slow motion, I'm walking along. Hey, Tom. Oh! And what makes it a front or side fall is either I go to the side or I bring it to the front. But I break the fall with the flat of the hand. So, speed it up. And you can, depending if it's a comedy or a drama, you can jazz that up, okay? Or, you know, the championship wrestlers do it, and the head bounces. Whatever you want to do with it, you, you can make that look really good. All right, the back fall, same thing. I'm walking along. Now the back fall, people are, people are afraid to go flying backwards. Come back up here with me. I'm gonna have you do the back fall for me. When you're skating, is that a little scary if you have to go back in the fall? You don't. You don't? No, you can bring these and they always fall forward. Hopefully. On stage we can't do that. Sometimes we have yeah. a back fall. So what we do, it, it's, a, it's a sit. We're gonna sit down. But again, it's an illusion. We're gonna let the audience think we're doing something. We're doing something else. So what I do is I plant, are you, do you kick with your right foot or your left foot? I don't know. If, 
If you wanted to kick me right now, which foot would you kick me with? Okay. Plant your left foot. And what you're going to do is let the right foot slide out. And as you do, you're going to sit down. So it's like this. Beautiful. You control it by getting as close to the floor as possible before you let go. So that I sit and I'm not dropping from here and that way I don't hurt my butt. But I end up in this position and I hold that knee to keep myself because what I want to do is throw those hands back. Again, that will hurt. Chances of getting hurt is more. Now once I'm in this position, it's real easy. Tuck that head. Roll back, bring your hands up to your side, make you nap. There you go. Okay. Now, let's do that again. You're here. Let me see you do it real slow. Piece of cake. You're, you're really good at that. Okay. Can't tell me. Like she does roller dirt. Now, let's speed it up a little bit. Somebody throws that banana peel. You hit it and fall down. And that's it. That's all there is to it. Did that hurt? See, now you can, you can freak out your roller derby friends and fall backwards. And they're going to go, she screwed it up! And you can, you know, if you hit and really, really play it, they'll think you're killed. Yeah. Look for it. Thank you. She did a good job. Thank you. We'll get back to you in just a moment. Once you learn those three falls, you can adapt them, change them, do whatever you want with them. The technique does not change.